sculptor designer. Um, I work most of the time for big brands, perfume brands. I design objects for them. Okay. So I don't make robots. No. This is really a hobby side. Okay. Okay. So um, my, my work actually brings me to find solutions for my clients all the time. They will ask something and I have to find solutions with, with a very short delay. So that's what I do. I understand. How is this project called? This project is called InMove. Um, I-N-M-O-O-V. Yeah? Yeah, okay. InMove. And it's a 3D printed robot. All right. So okay. this thing is printed. Yes. So you make some drawings and put it in the computer and to the uh, three-dimensional printer and then it came out. Basically, yes, that's what it is. So I designed the parts on, um, on the computer in three-dimensional. I sculpt them and uh, it depends if it has to be sculpted like the face or it's more like mechanical parts for the shoulder and things like this. And then once they are ready on the computer, I can export them to the 3D printer so it gets 3D printed. Once the part is ready, I have it in uh, physical life and I can assemble the parts together and construct the, the whole robot. All right. So that's, that's not only it. Actually, uh, the whole thing started... Uh, oh, maybe you have some questions to ask. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we follow the questions. No. <laughs> no. Just tell me this little story. Okay. It started with, um, with the hand. I bought the 3D printer in uh, 2011 and um, I was asked for a French car company to create a 3D, no, to create a prosthetic hand for yeah. them. Okay. And it had to be futuristic, you know, like in the Tukomst. Yeah. And um, I thought, okay, I'm going to use the 3D printer. So that's why I designed the first hand on to be ready to be 3D printed. Yeah. The job didn't go on anyway, but I decided to uh, to release the files yeah. and to uh, put them on uh, Thingiverse, oh, that's cool. so yeah. people could use it. And uh, there's a lot of people that jumped on the, on the on the thing for yeah. it to uh, start uh, to make some prosthetics. So I started a whole bunch of um, projects. Enable came after that. Open Bionics and uh, all kinds of uh, projects. And there is a French uh, Frenchman, Nicolas Huchet, that asked me if he could use the hand for to really use it as a yeah. prosthetic. Yeah. So we worked together for some time for to create that first uh, prosthetic hand. Yeah. And from then on, I went on. I kept on designing yeah. the rest of the robot the for for me and for the community. Yeah. So that's basically the story. Yeah, that's a it's a nice story. Yeah, it's it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks for that. So, how difficult the question? Uh, yeah, very difficult. Now. So why are you a creator? Um, <clears throat> but since I'm a kid, actually, I sculpt. I take a piece of wood cut it, carve it, you know, do things with it. Um, I always loved it uh, to have, um, to have uh, objects that are broken and yeah. because it's broken, I can fix it. Yes. You know, it doesn't matter what I do with it, it's already broken, so I cannot make it worse than what it was. So, uh, <laughs> do you safe, see? A safe way uh, to... That's work. right. <laughs> so, um, when in my house, when I was a kid, if there was a, a broken clock, I would ask my parents, can I have the clock instead of uh, putting it in the trash, so I could open it and see the bearings inside or the, the gearings and things like this, and try to fix it. Okay. And that's what I still do, actually. I, if I can find an old computer in the street, I will take it and try to fix it right. for it. Okay, but... I understand. Yeah. But why? Why what? is is, is that why where is that urge to from yeah to create to to change things? Where is that coming from? You well, can also not do that. Not yeah, of people course. People just don't do it. I could I could just buy things. You Maybe? mean? Yeah. Yeah, I could. But I think. Um, I know, I we've been a we've been living in a society that has been consuming a lot, polluting a lot. I think it's uh, time to change and to see uh, another way of doing things, you know. And I think uh, committing into a community, sharing ideas, sharing things, and creating things not only for yourself but for others, 
I think it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a way to go for the future. I don't know if it's the right way, yeah. but it's a changement and I think we could go in that direction. Okay, I, I agree. Um, but what do you feel when you have created something? Or what do you feel when you have an idea which is not created? Is there a tension going on between those two stages? Do you understand what I say? Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think it's it's. Uh, I see it more like as an evolution. It's uh, okay. I'm in my bed at night and I think I've seen that motor and I. What can I do with that motor? Is it possible to attach it to that part? And then I see the gears that are gonna go with it and then the sculpting that, that is going to be around it. All that I see in my head. Yeah. And then I put it on the, on the computer, start to work with it. And uh, it becomes an object when it comes out in real life. Um, it's a process. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say that it's uh, from uh, the idea to, to, the, to the end point. What it creates in me, what it does in me, I really like it when finally I have the gearing system that is that I had in my head. It's in real and it works, you and know, then, and, and you can play with it, you know, that that's uh, very thrilling. Thrilling. You know? yeah, yeah, thrilling. thrilling. It, it creates yeah. like an emotion, thrilling. no, thrilling. <laughs> you know, it's if thrilling. you have a... Um, you know, you take a, a very simple little remote, yeah. attach it to two servo motors, and uh, get a code on it, and then it starts to ride around. And wow, it's amazing, it's amazing isn't amazing. it? Yeah. You know, I think this is really um, it brings a lot of joy. Yeah, it, it gives you some kind of feeling, um, which and that, and that feeling. That's unique to humans, I think. Yeah, I think. In the past they made, uh, in those caves, they already made uh, drawings and things like that. Yeah. You think those people had the same uh, experience? Oh, def definitely. I think it's exactly the same. The makers have been, uh, have been here since always. I mean, the first one that started to hit a piece yeah. of wood on another piece of wood was a maker. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's what it is. So I really think uh, we are we are makers. We are born makers. Uh, then there is different levels. Yeah. You know, some some people will be making only in their brain. Some other ones will be doing only with their hands. Yeah. Um, that's that's my next question. Do you think it's a it's a, a separated group of people who is uh, accomplishing real making, or yeah, well. We just said, oh, well, everybody is, is a human being is a maker, but uh, when we look around here, it's, uh, is this a special group of people? I, I don't think it's a special group. I think it has always been. I think with the internet and the communication, today uh, we, we, uh, we bring the makers, the people that have been doing things in, in their garage for so many years without saying anything to anybody besides building something like an old clock or something. Yeah. Today, we have the internet, we have the communication, and uh, we can put them up okay. you know, and say, here, this guy, he was working by himself and he did this. You know? now, now the internet makes, vis makes visible to us that there are a lot more creators than we thought that there what we would ever would be. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I think um, uh, the fact that we have the internet and the, the, the communication between people, it, um, it adds a lot because those makers today can communicate together and so they can create uh, new things that we didn't even expect, you know? Because uh, 20 years ago, when you wanted to find a motor, you had to go in the shop that yeah. was in your street, and if the shop didn't have it, you didn't even know it existed. Today, you go on the internet, you search for a motor, yeah. DC motor, yeah, 12 volt, and yeah. so on, you get everything from where you want, you know? So it's going very fast, and uh, that's communication. Okay, um, well, now we have uh, figured out that it uh, is really thrilling to, uh, to create something, uh, to see things uh, work, uh, but there's also uh, this, this money thing uh, going on in this world. Yeah. So, uh, how, how do you think uh, those two can uh, combine? Live or, together. Yeah. 
I think th this is happening. You know, the maker stuff is happening. The communication, the sharing ideas, knowledge, and so on, it's, it's happening. There's definitely um, uh, a new area or era uh, that is coming up. And uh, the money system is there, and we're going to have to uh, to work with it. Yeah. It's not going to be a separate system. We uh, otherwise it's war. You know, oh. we don't want that. So we, what we want is to work together and find solution between the people that invent, that develop things, yeah. that they still can get some money somehow. You know, and uh, there's projects that are evident, like Arduino where they can make some money, it's open source, but it's still uh, making good money. Yeah. You know, there's other projects like this. My project, for now, is not really good at that. No? <laughs> no. Nope. Um, uh, for now, it's not really making any money, oh. you know? So we are trying to find a solution, but it's not easy when you have an open source project to find, uh, not donators, but, um, a sponsoring system yeah. that is going to keep in mind that the project is open source. Yeah, because it's already available. Um, yeah. Then they don't want to pay for it. Right. Something like that. Yeah. So it's it's a it's not easy. We are we are at the beginning of this, and uh, we have to find solutions. Yeah. And, um, but, but but the the only solution I can think of is very very is just to shield it off. But that's that's not your intention, and and then say, well, okay, look what I have. You show the picture, yeah. and you can have it, uh, and you have to pay. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can do that. But we 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 can see today that this is coming to an end. Yeah. You know, even uh, big brands, big brands today, they have a hard time to keep their idea by, uh, you know, like the next month, it's already copied by other brands. Yeah. You know, and so uh, it's impossible. It's, yeah. The communication is going so fast that it's it's hard to to uh, protect, and I think patents, for yeah. example, is is becoming obsolete somehow. Okay. It might become obsolete at some point. And do you think uh, people who create uh, do they have uh, skills to sell uh, their creations, or do you need another person who has other skills to? Uh, That's to exactly my problem. Yeah. See, I have the skills for to um, create. I have. Uh, I'm building this project. I can um, work around the co the communication with the community. But at this stage, I'm not a good businessman for yeah. to make money. How do how how, you think that is common for uh, creators that they don't do not have these uh, uh, commercial skills? What, maybe what, what because could that be? I, I don't know. I, I know some uh, some creators are uh, very good in business. Okay, you know, yeah, some, some artists. Some, yeah, some. most of them. My experience is most of them just. Yeah. If you say money, it's a, yeah. They go, they go scared. Yeah. But actually, it's also one of the good points of uh, the artists somehow. Yeah. It's because uh, because of that, <laughs> it's not only beneficial uh, commercial. Business, do you see? It's uh, having ideas and not sh selling those ideas uh, systematically. So that's why. That's why um, I think we should be able to to go and find a solution. But I don't have it. At this we have stage. a very no. big brain, and we use only uh, well a little yeah. part of it. I've seen a movie where there are some pills that help to get the brain. <laughs> so maybe I should get one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Ah, okay. Well, um, so you have any? Are you thinking? Well, do you have any idea what consequences uh, your uh, creations have for uh, for society? So, the good or bad or? Um, sometimes it's like Pinocchio. You know, uh, you know, you build you build uh, a robot. And then you put it in the nature, on the internet, the people, they can download it. Some people are going to be good with it, some people yeah. are going to be bad with it. So you don't really know what is going to happen. No. I do think uh, uh, sh uh, sharing um, a robot, so like this, everybody can build it together and share um, the information that we are putting into the uh, robot. Yeah. 
his knowledge, his intelligence. I think it's a way to make it better instead of making it bad. Because we control, we all are there for to see what is inside that robot. Okay, Do you see? it's a common responsibility. Yeah, okay. so I think it's, it's, uh, it's going more positive than uh, yeah. negative, at least for now. <laughs> okay, no. yeah, well, but, we and, can um, see in the future. So. Yeah, and I think uh, if we can have a, a robot that uh, can serve people, that can, can help people, you know, in, um, that are d disadvantaged, in uh, hospitals or in ho at home yes, that are alone and so on, of course, can be nice. If and you if you know it, the robot, you have built it yourself, or you have put things in se yourself inside, you know, and you want to control it to help uh, your grandmother for some task. It's much better than a robot that you bought by a company and yeah, uh, yeah. you don't even know yes, of course. what yeah. is inside exactly. I think. Okay. I, well, I've. Uh, I finished my list. Do you have anything uh, that you want to tell? Without um, a question. <laughs> without a question. I think I did a lot without a question. Yeah, you did, but <laughs> maybe you have some more. Um, no, I think it's pretty much it. I think uh, uh, over here in the Maker Fair, there's uh, two persons that are there, you know, that really help. Yeah. Um, they have been creating the, the board that is inside the robot. So we are using Arduino boards, but those two boards are there and they help to control the whole robot to plug everything very easily. So I want to say thank you to them. Yeah. That's one of the things. Okay, that's cool. And thanks to my robot lab, of yeah. course, which is a software that um, controls the whole robot. Okay? Okay, thank you. Very good. Thank you.